Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're just going to be checking out how to make your own beautiful blog on Divi 2.4 for WordPress. So here I am on Men's Cabin, my, one of my newer websites. Um, the whole point of this is sharing articles, so it's basically just one big blog. So I'm going to show you how I made this, how you can make one similar or even better using your own customizing. So let's get right into it. So you see we're greeted with this nice full screen uh, header here that is advertising my my most recent article. You could hit read or scroll down to more articles here. And this is where you could really build something unique. Uh, most most article slash blog websites don't look anything like this and they're much more boring. So you scroll down, you see we have these nice boxes for each individual article. And then we have some snippets of the articles. And then we have these edge to edge boxes. And then we have this nice full page uh, list of all the articles. Now if we go over here to my website, I used a similar styling for the home page as you see uh, all the squares and everything. So you can build something like this fairly easy. So let's just log into the website here. Go to the home page. Let's view the back end by editing. Let that load up. So you see here, it's very simple for what we have done here. We just have some sliders and some text and blog modules, and that's pretty much it. So first is the full width header. This is probably my favorite thing in Divi 2.4. I use it a lot for my websites now. As you see, I'm having problems with this. I think that there's a bug I might have to update. Um, there might be an update available. Let's check. Nope. But I found this bug. I can't edit this full width header. I have to make a new one. Uh, but that's pretty straightforward, so we'll just skip that one for now anyways. So first, let's actually open this up so we can see what we're looking at. So right now we're looking at this larger slider right here, which is this module. So we'll open up that settings. You see it's just one individual slide. That way it's just a nice squared image. We're going to put the title of the article here, and then the button text. We're going to have read story. Then we'll have the URL lead to that article. Then the background image will use uh, something relevant that looks nice. I suggest going to unsplash.com. They have free images to use that are very HD. That's where I got most of these images, including this one. So you'll see here's all the settings I have for that. Pretty straightforward. And then I just copied this. Uh, twice into here for smaller ones and then also you're going to want to look at the row settings here I have custom width on and I have that to max um, I just suggest doing that so open up the slider you see it's the same thing here very simple and straightforward and it looks really nice and it's very easy to do and then we have the, the snippets down here which is the text is this it's just telling you what category these articles are in then a blog module selected to that individual category. Read more button, yes, 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 and no. Still pretty straightforward. And then after you've done that, you, you have a nice big field or a grid of content. Now you could just go full on with the squares, do one big square, two little, one big, two little, the whole way down the page with all of your articles. But the only downside to that is that it will take a while because you have to make them individual. That's why I have just a few here, then snippets. Then I have these ones actually sliding. If you can just give it a minute, it slides through articles. Let's look at that in the back end. It's a slider again. This time with two different slides, and I have everything hidden so that it does everything automatically every five seconds. And that's just the same thing right here. And then we just have another blog module that has all of the categories. Oops, zoomed in has all the categories enabled there. At the bottom, I have a sign up to subscribe to our newsletter. Pretty simple. So that's how you make a nice content grid. Now let's look at an actual article. If we scroll up here, we'll read this story. Now this is where you is very new and unique to Divi 2.4. You can use the builder to make custom blog posts. So I like using a nice full screen image again with a title and a little bit of text about it. Then a scroll down button. You'll see it's a very beautiful reading and easy to read experience and then just a, 
uh, author box, share, and then comments. Very simple to do. So if we just close this tab, and we're gonna edit this post. There's a couple of tips that I have for you here. So first off, that full width header, you can just enter the title and everything, and then put a background. And then I like to put a background overlay with a nice transparent black. It gives that a nice dark setting and makes the text above it very easy to read. So, excuse me, we're gonna have our normal uh, section here with a text module. And this is just going to have all the text for the article in it. See the settings there and make sure you put it on centered. And then when we go to the hamburger menu here, I believe actually the hamburger menu for the text and then advanced scroll through, see all the settings I have. I like, I like putting it on a 19 font cause I think it's just big enough to where it's easy to read, but it's not too big. Let's close that and then the call to action is what I use for my author box you can use call to actions for a lot of things to add some some depth into your website without actually having to use any call to action buttons it's very nice to do that just leave the buttons blank and then the buttons won't show up at all in the module so the most important thing you're gonna want to do to make a nice looking blog post I can't seem to find it here we go Okay, so the, the row hamburger menu, you're gonna use custom width, and I have it at 823. Now what that is doing, if we view the post, it is crunching this text to the middle to not be uh, coming out down here, coming out down in this area. That creates some nice white space, makes it easier to read. Um, you can mess with that and find the, the nice width that you like, but I think that's good right there how it is. It makes a really beautiful and simple blog post. And the last piece of advice is to change the background color. It is not pure white. It is a, I believe, F. Yeah, so it's just number sign F, 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 instead of E, which is the normal white. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't change it. There we go. You're going to want to change that to E because that'll look a lot better. Let's just update that real quick. Because it, it contrasts with the text a little bit better than a pure white and it just looks really nice as you see here. You might also want to change the background for this to match. Sometimes I like going pure white because sometimes this is a little too dark. You could just mess around with the colors but uh, just know that using a pure white is a little bit harder on the eyes so you're going to want a, a little bit of a gray shade into your white color. Maybe not as quite as drastic as this. So let's just actually mess with that right now until we find one I like. Open up the regular white. Let's just make it just a little bit like that. Let's update that, see what it looks like. View post. Yeah, that's much better. So we're gonna wanna change the comment background to that as well. So let's just do that real quick. So everything looks nice. So let's just copy this color code, close that. And then you're gonna to want to go to customize, and then you're gonna edit uh, your comments for that. So that's pretty much what you have to do. Another thing I would suggest is saving, after you've made a article that you like, save that to your library, um, because then you could use that as a default uh, template for whenever you're doing articles so they all look the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button if you did. Uh, comment for any video requests. Subscribe for more and see you guys in the next one.